St. Patrick's Day just around the corner, although it's meant to honor the patron saint of Ireland here in the States. It means it's party time, and we got our go-to guy for us for all the festive occasions, America's <laughs> chief entertaining officer, Tim Laird. Yo, it's good to see you. Good to see you, TJ. Absolutely, it's party time. We love that. Yes, any, any time. Occasion, any occasion. Time to drink, we bring you we in. We can do it. I love that. Well, Absolutely. It starts with a drink on St. It Patrick's does, day. and we're going to start with a green drink. So this is Patrick. what I call the sparkling shillelagh. All right. Very easy to make. It starts out with about uh, oh, about four ounces of uh, Corbel Brut Champagne in there. Right. There we go, boom. And then to make it green, I have a little bit of sour apple uh, mix. This is alcohol free, but that gives okay. it a little uh, kind of a nice little green flavor. Nice. And then as a garnish, a little uh, musk melon goes in. That's boom, there it is. Impressive. Very nice. Yes. And I've got an alcohol free version here for you. This sure is a lemon lime soda and that sour apple mix. Slancha, as they say in Slancha. Ireland. All right, here we go. All right. Mm. Wow, I'll tell you what, that's, that's delicious, good. That very good. good. That is good stuff. And then, uh, I, if you remember from art class, if you mix orange and blue together, it becomes green. I do remember. So this is just basically a mimosa. Put a little blue curacao in there, and that. it turns green. So there it is, another way to go green on your drink. So uh, you impress some of your friends. <laughs> don't remember class. Exactly. So watch this magic trick. All anyway, right. uh, also it's March Madness too. I mean everybody's getting into the basketball game, Every so it's not just yes. about St. Patrick's Day. So I thought I'd make a barn burner, and this is a great cocktail. And it starts out with cranberry juice, and then I'm going to mix with this something brand new. I just found this that came out uh, first of March. It's called Jack Daniel's Tennessee Fire, and it's a cinnamon. In fact, you can kind of smell that, TJ. It has that oh, nice serious. little cinnamon flavor to it. So just cranberry juice. I put in uh, the Jack Daniel's Tennessee Fire, and then I've got uh, kind of representing a, a nice. uh, basketball. My little cantaloupe uh, goes in as a garnish. There we go. That's just cranberry That's juice in this. Cranberry juice in that. Okay. That's all there is to it. And, barn burner. Sounds it's, serious. It is. It is. Look at that. It's the barn burner. Great for those <laughs> games that you have. Uh, anyway. All right. Now that we're looking up, got to have some food. We got to eat. And uh, here's my Irish nachos. Right. Basically, it's it's a Reuben that I've taken, kind of deconstructed, and put it on tortilla chips. So we have a little bit of corned beef, a little bit of butter. Swiss cheese in there, and of course, Thousand Island uh, dressing, and it's perfect. And it tastes just like a Reuben. So, if you want a little sample there, you can I will try that. This. We, we, we got the stew. Tell oh, yeah. Then we have here. Irish stew. This is a wonderful, big stick to your ribs kind of uh, entree, mm -hmm. and with topped with green mashed potatoes. Now, as a kid, I hated green peas, mm -hmm. but if I mix it with mashed potatoes, I go, wow, that actually tastes good. So, I'm going right. to try this. Basically, all you do, TJ, is yeah. just uh, get some peas that are cooked, and then you Using a stick blender or a blender at home or a food processor, you just puree those up. And once it's all pureed, mix it with cooked mashed potatoes, and then you get these wonderful green mashed potatoes. Perfect for St. Patty's Day. All right, again, everything here has to have a little green in it. It does. It has to. It what does. Do have here? Smoked salmon dip. This right. is, again, perfect for uh, St. Patrick's Day or March Madness when you're watching those games. Really, just smoked salmon, a little bit of cream cheese, and some capers, some other dishes in there. Great on crackers or whatever you want to put on that, but a great little dip. Uh, to go with your celebrations. And all the recipes, of course, are on your website. All right, and again, we got a couple of desserts here. The key is everything has to have just a little touch of green. You a little touch of green. Wrong, a little touch Absolutely. Of green. <laughs> so that, that makes what, that's what makes it fun. Salancha, as they say. Salancha. We'll see, we'll see you for the next drinking holiday. <laughs> Absolutely. <right? laughs> yeah, it should be soon. <laughs> Chief <laughs> Entertaining <laughs> Officer for America here. Tim Laird, he knows what he's talking about. All these, of course, will be on our website. We'll be putting them up on our Facebook page, WNNFans.com. So again, Happy St. Patty's Day to you all. We will see you real soon.